Hey everyone, Bob here, KD4BMG. I wanna go through the tabletop review real quick today because I wanna get out in the field and show you the versatility on this Gable ham radio tripod antenna. We've already talked about the Gable HF antenna itself. I have two videos out on it. It's slowly making its way into my emergency go bag as my primary antenna due to how small it is, lightweight and compact. And this antenna tripod also is going to make its way into that pack as well. Well, it may appear large to you, but it really is quite small. And when you see the versatility of it, I think you're going to be amazed. So if you purchase this from Gable, essentially what you end up with is a tripod with very short legs that telescope with the twist of your hand, you pull it out, it telescopes, and then you tighten again by twisting. You'll see that out in the field and you can do it in various lengths. It's not an all or nothing, it's infinite adjustments and that is on all three legs when you push it back in then you twist it again and you tighten it this is 100 percent aluminum construction and then it does appear that there are polymer bushings in between the sections of the legs when you get this you're going to open it up and you hear the clicks so it has multiple locations that you can open the legs the second and the third Right here actually there you go so it's almost a flat orientation when you get it extended to this point so let's get me off the screen and i'll show you how the rest of this works here's everything that comes in the package you get two posts this one you can adapt it to whatever your needs are you can use it for lighting you can use it for a camera i use it to attach to one of my antenna adapters and i use this out in the field for the various antenna setups that I have that fit that adapter. And you'll see that in the video as we move along. Again, I wanna get through this part quickly and get to the good stuff. The second post already has a SO239 connector with a pigtail, so you can take your feed line right into this. And it has an SO239 in the top. So essentially, once you tighten down on this rubberized nut, then you spread out the legs to whatever you need to support the type of the antenna that you have and you're ready to rock and roll with this thing something interesting about this right here this unscrews and it gives you the opportunity to put these ring terminals on it as many as you need you get a, a package that has five in them you tighten this down and then you're going to see me put my banana plug radials right here into that adapter. So incredible flexibility. Let's get out in the field. Let me show you how many antenna systems I have that this works with. The first thing I wanna show you on this Gable antenna tripod is just how simple it is to use. And it's just unfold it. It has self clicking uh, mechanisms here so they lock in place. You're gonna to wanna to go ahead and attach it to your coax. And yes, it does have a pigtail right on the end of the tripod. How much easier can that get? We're going to start with the gable antenna itself that I've already been showing you videos on the channel. And just this quickly, we have the antenna set up to either do two meters in its exact configuration right now, or then we'll start extending our antenna so that we can get on HF. But I also wanna show you with this antenna tripod that you have multiple ways to use it and set up. So this antenna is light. So as long as you don't have excessive wind, the spread on these feet, these legs is good enough. But if you get a little bit of wind, all you have to do is take these ratcheting legs and spread them out just a bit. And then you have a flat tripod to go ahead and lay down on the table. Let's say that uh, you have a little bit heavier of an antenna on this tripod, you just turn the leg counterclockwise, pull it out, twist on it, and now you have a much larger tripod base that you can extend across the table that we're operating on right now. And so you could obviously put a heavier antenna on this if you wanted to. Let's talk about the versatility of this gable tripod antenna. It has an SO239 connector on it. So before we go changing out with an adapter, we're going to leave the SO239 in place and we're gonna pull out our toy box antenna because guess what? The toy box antenna also takes an SO239 
connector. So if you're one of those people on the bipolar end of loving the toy box antenna, then here you go, you can set up out in the field with your gable tripod and now you have your toy box antenna ready to erect on HF. If you prefer a wire antenna, go ahead and get yourself an adapter and you can get a wire antenna up in the air. And the way I have set up my radials, I basically take my radials with a banana plug and either through the top or through the side here, I now have my radial set up. And if I were doing a wire antenna, I would be doing the same thing with that element. If we're gonna go with a wire antenna, why not get ourselves a nine to one un, -un go ahead and get it in the tripod. And then of course you can once again use banana plug. So here are my banana plug radials. And then I would do the same thing with my element going up to a tree, a mast or whatever. Uh, again, I would probably have this out on the ground and I would have these legs spread out completely if I were going to do a wire antenna. I'm doing it here in the tabletop so you can see the versatility of all the antennas that we can use this tripod with. Maybe you have other antennas you can use with this SO239 connector, but that's exhausted my arsenal. From here, I take an adapter to get me over to the types of threads that we expect to have on our MFJ1979, our chameleon antennas, SS17, et cetera. So speaking of the MFJ1979, again, you're not going to erect this on the top of an, uh, a picnic table, or maybe you are. I would take this, I would put it out in the grass, I would extend these feet flat all the way, and now what I have is my MFJ1979 up at uh, 20 meters resonant, and I take my banana plugs, because remember we have these fittings, these connectors right on the gable tripod itself, and now I have my radials ready to go that quick. 20 meters, not enough for you with the MFJ 1979. Well, go ahead and grab your Wolf River coil, in my case, the Silver Bullet Mini. I don't typically use the uh, telescoping antenna that came with this. I use this collapsible man pack antenna. It's a seven section antenna. I get this up on top of my Wolf River coil, and now I can go 40 meters on up, uh, 20, 17, 15, etc. So. I can use my Wolf River Coil Mini or the full-size Wolf River Coil if I choose to. Are you a fan of the Super Antenna? I am. So let's go ahead and use our Gable tripod to set up our Super Antenna. We'll get that super flexible whip and our extension legs on it. And now all of a sudden our G Gable tripod becomes a super antenna. If you have the super antenna, what do you think about their radial system? Pretty pathetic, isn't it? Well, the radial system with the G Gable and Bob's method of using banana plugs, pretty awesome. Are you more of a chameleon antennas fan? Not a problem, we got you covered too. So, before we put this in, recognize all of a sudden my feed line is irrelevant on the gable. We have to do something different. At this point, the gable, uh, with its legs spread out probably on the, the ground, is uh, providing our support for the antenna. I'm going to put another one of my connectors here to attach my radials to and put that between the threaded rod of the Cha Micro and my adapter on the gable. I'm gonna take my feed line and I'm gonna remove it from the gable because now my feed line needs to go directly into uh, the Cha Micro. I'm going to then take whatever radials I think are appropriate for how I'm going to be operating with my Cha Micro. And then I'm gonna take my SS17 and I'm going to install it on the top of the Cha Micro. And those of you who've operated with Chameleon antennas know just how much flexibility you have from this point on. Many times when I'm trying to travel light, I again use my uh, collapsible man pack for this instead of the MFJ1979, which is what we have on this today. So again, incredibly flexible antenna system. I have one more antenna I wanna show, but let me first show some of the additional flexibility with the Gable tripod, because something else comes with it. Let me go ahead and take my adapters off and 
when you unscrew this uh, particular nut right here, out pops the extension that has the pigtail. And then there's this other extension here that really is a camera tripod mount. Now, all of a sudden, for you YouTubers out there that need a extra tripod mount and you have this with you and it's not being used by one of your antennas, you've got some flexibility. But I do something different with it. I've shown a couple of times on my channel this uh, antenna mount, this ground spike from BD7 uh, Maple on eBay. And if you take this ground spike off, I can actually then screw this mount on top of this secondary mount stud that came with the gable antenna. Again, I'm showing this in its smallest form. Remember, this thing spreads out and these legs go flat, so you have all kinds of versatility to get stability. And now all of a sudden, with this on top of this mount, I'm back to the same level of flexibility I had with this pigtail with a little bit extra beyond that. I did want to show that uh, this is one of the things that I use. I'm going to be carrying this whole set together in my go bag. It's kind of an erector set with just a couple of small pieces that allow me to go in a number of different directions with erecting the antennas. But the reason that I wanted to show you this particular mount here is this. If you just take one more adapter, it will also accept another antenna system. And let me show you right now. Bet you didn't see that coming, did you? So the tripod as it's set up is too small for my F-loop. I've been saying this all along. If you're going to operate an antenna that is a little bit heavier, then go ahead and change this to a flat layout and then extend your legs so that what you have is something that is very steady for your antenna system that you're using. We have a little bit of breeze here in uh, Tampa Bay this afternoon, so let's go ahead and see what happens with the 20 meter big boy, the MFJ 1979, with the tripod legs fully extended and in a flat configuration. Let's see if we have any issues keeping this thing up in the air. I don't think so. We're fully extended with breeze blowing in the background and we have absolutely no problem keeping the 1979 up in the air. One more thing to show you about this tripod. I'm standing straight up and down on a hill and my antenna is leaning over pretty bad. You have two options here. You can shorten or extend your legs independently or you can tilt one or two of them up and down with the clicks that are in the mechanism. So that's what I'm gonna start with. I'm just gonna to try to click on one of the legs that's on the lower side. And now I just kind of went back the other way. So now I'm going to shorten that leg just a smidge. Not quite enough. And now I have an antenna that is perfectly upright. Man, I'm exhausted. That was a lot of antennas. My point is this is an incredibly versatile piece of gear that's making its way into my permanent kit. Check it out in the links below. Talk to you soon, friend. 73.